And also another thing you're gonna need is a natter days to wash away the pain. Absolutely. Speaking of natter days, what happened to my natter days? <coughs> oh God. <laughs> <coughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the? F <laughs> I found my dad or days. Oh yeah, there's, there's some more on the ground apparently. <laughs> What is up guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to install a hydraulic handbrake for a dual caliper setup. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how are you? <laughs> I have had a hydro on this car for about over a year and recently it's been locking up on me so I decided I'm gonna try new lines, put new fluid in there before I go and buy new calipers. So here is what I got. So that's the dual caliper setup. So I'm gonna show you how to run the lines and stuff. So there's the hydro, it goes all the way back and then goes out those holes in the floor to the calipers. What do you think? I think you should just sand ho. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so we got these three lines here. Um, it's You're gonna need a 36 inch 90 degree to straight dash three and then the other are just straight to straight dash three 45 inch lines. You're also going to need a dash three male T-fitting, because that's where you're gonna break your lines apart to go to each wheel. What are you doing? <laughs> Push it up. <laughs> this week on our garage is too hard to get lowered cars in, so we work outside. <laughs> I am going to fix a severe coal leak in my car. Okay, so here's my hydro. It's gonna go on, the 90 degree goes on the hydro itself. Let's, uh, there like that. Wow, these are different than the other ones. Okay, so just basically snug her up. For me, I don't, I, oh wow, this is way different than the other. Okay, so I'm gonna just run it back, put this little T guy on here. Now this applies to SN95 Mustangs since this is what I have. So conveniently enough, there are drain holes under the rear seat and they go right to the calipers, which is quite amazing. We're just gonna run those here on the T fitting, right down those little holes and eventually you'll come out in the ground. Look at that. And then you repeat for the opposite side. All of this will be linked down below in the description. Also, I'll also link a video showing what I believe is my ideal drift car setup for a Mustang. You should probably go check that out too. But I have to watch this video first. It's really bad to work in a car with a roll cage, by the way. <laughs> also, to make your life way easier too, you're gonna need to pick up a couple of these here doodads. They hold the, uh, the line down like that and you can um, self-tap them into the floor or wherever to hold the line in place. Now we go on to the back of the car, hook them up to the brakes. So on a Mustang caliper, they have banjo bolts. So, How are you? and right here is coming out from the floor. So up here, over here is the banjo bolt. There's that one. There she is. It's a very nice space for you to fit in, John. It's not. <laughs> so I'm not sure if these calipers are bad yet. So I know I mentioned that I'm replacing lines before calipers because I don't know if these are bad. Oh yeah, and you're also gonna need a dual caliper bracket, which you can get it from Duncan Motorsports. Um, they just allow you to mount another V6 or GT um, caliper to your 8.8 rear, just a caliper bracket, very simple. And also another thing you're gonna need is a natter days to wash away the pain. Absolutely. Speaking of natter days, what happened to my natter days? <coughs> oh God. <laughs> <coughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I found my natter days. Oh yeah, there's, there's some more on the ground apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just got that on camera, John just puked up <laughs> Does that mean I'm going to hell? <laughs> oh no! Uh, right. You have to drink it back off the ground. No. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna put this in a nice little area. Alright, we'll give her a tight ski. Put like a tighter. Now a thing you can do too when you're done is um, you could put some paper towel underneath all your joints and connections and that will tell you if any of them are leaking. Sometimes it's very hard to see that. I'm gonna tighten them at the wheels and then uh, we could start bleeding and then I'll tie it all down to the ground. And also another thing you can get to really speed up the process and make your life a hell of a lot easier is speed bleeders for the calipers where they're basically a one-way check valve 
they only allow out not in so you can just sit in there and pump that hydro without needing anybody to open the bleeder for you every single time jeremy's nice and jealous of those aren't you nice and jealous you bitch you bitch ow oh i ripped my glove no love, no love. All right, I'm tight. Time to bleed. So you're also going to have to bench bleed your master cylinder. Since I've done that, this has been in my car for a year, so it's already already done. But uh, something you might want to get. And you're going to need um, dot four brake fluid. I've realized that I boil dot three, and then it does a lot of things. So held that one down. <laughs> Attaboy, boy, I'm growing up. I'm going up. Okay, so you're just gonna fill your. What is this? How do I get that out? What the fuck is? What is that? <sighs> so very carefully, you're gonna fill up this here master cylinder reservoir. I'm not sure if it's gonna take it. It may. Yeah. Okay. Even, it's not pulling it through. There it goes. There it goes. Gotta do it quicker. Probably so much air. Yeah. So right now all I'm doing is filling the lines with fluid before I start to bleed them. Probably gotta fill up the calipers. Now I'm gonna run a bunch of this through because this is uh, dot four fluid and I had dot three in there, so I wanna get all that shit out of there. Get all that shit out of there. Shit. All right, I'm gonna open up the bleeders. So opening. Oh, so there's hey that. Now that'll blow a bunch of fluid out of there. You missed me throw up on camera. Ooh, ooh! She's yeah. really spitting over there. Why? She's like, There's probably fluid, like yeah, pressure in there, but air in the line. I hear her. Why did you only throw up? Because I took a sip of Natter Days. I don't know, and I just, I just coughed, and then just a bunch of foam came up. Oh, it's just coming out of his mouth. I was, I was on him the entire time with the camera. Yep, she's coming out over here. All right, well the camera died, so I just continued to do what I was doing. But um, actually no, it didn't die. The card filled for some reason. Well, now I got to put the wheels on, and uh, I guess I have to test it, right? Yeah, gotta test this bitch out. Make sure she uh, pumps, make sure she fucking skids. Do some skids. Where are we gonna do some skins at? Um, in Mexico. I wish we could just drive to Mexico. Well, we are gonna drive to Mexico, it's right on the side of that fence. Oh, really? Yeah. Sick, I like that idea. You didn't know that? Oh no. Oh fuck, is that Billy? Yeah, Billy's here. Shit. Oh. Oh fuck, I never met him. God damn it. This is amazing. Our, our best friend Billy's here. So. Billy's just, you know, a guy that like we like to hang out with. Actually, we don't like to hang out with him. He just comes and he annoys us pretty much all the time. And he met me, and I kind of like I kind of like made friends with him because I felt bad for him because he's got like a big beer belly and it looks like he's pregnant. But like I feel bad for him, and we don't know what to do. <sighs> and he's here. It's a, it's as you would say a. Chit show. It's a it's a chit show. It's a chit show. It's a chit show. Chit show. He wants to do a lot of things around here. Like he wants to help us, like you know, get this all tidied up. And I, I think it looks great out it here. It looks fine. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, look at it. What'd you look great. at? Out. Well, it looks better than my car does. I'm just gonna have to put the uh, hose hold downs on, and yeah, that's it. And I guess I gotta test it. I should probably test it before I put the hose hold downs on. Yeah, you should. Yeah. I think I'm going to take that? the car to Mexico. What do you think? Viva Mexico. That worked really good. We got another red blinking light. Oh great. But she's working though. She's still she's still recording. Alright. She's still recording. Alright, that's it. Uh, my camera battery is gonna fill again. Not my battery. My camera what is it? My camera car is gonna fill again, so uh, that's it for today. Deuces. Deuces. Deuces.